Hey YouTube, RC Flyer here. Look what just came in the mail. Uh, I've had this on back order for like three or four months. It is the Spectrum RI, the uh, Sky Remote ID module that Sky Spectrum came out with. Uh, and then the FCC decided to delay things. Um, and now it's about time and these things are coming out. Let's uh, open it up and see what we got for in the package. All right, not bad. Module's nice, nice size, nice small size, almost the size of an ESC. So it's there. Double-sided tape. Also comes with a lot of connectors to connect it to your ESC and your battery, I think. Uh, directions, there's a small pamphlet right here. Um, for wiring diagram and how it uh, hooks up to you, your ESC. Looks pretty easy right here. Looks the easiest with the wire right here. So um, stay tuned. I will hook it up and see how it works. All right, guys, to set up your Spectrum Remote ID module, you'll first want to go to the FAA Drone Zone access site Enter your credentials. If you don't have credentials, you're gonna to have to make your own. You're gonna to have to register and create one. First thing you wanna do is enter your information. I already have an account. You hit agree, and then you go to launch your credentials. And I already have one device. We'll click on it and we'll see what it looks like. It is my DJI Avada because it's over 250 grams. I have to have it registered, so this is registered. Um, does have remote ID broadcast. I will get rid of the serial number so you guys don't see that in the video. But the next thing you're gonna wanna do is add a device. Does your drone broadcast FAA remote ID information? Yes. So what kind is it? It's a remote ID broadcast module. It's not a standard remote ID, that's something that was built in. It's the broad test module. My nickname is gonna be Spec Spectrum RID for remote ID. Enter US manufacturers. Um, Uh, UAS manufacturer. Let me see what that is. I'm not even quite sure. I da, da, da. took a photo of the module because it has all the information that I need on it. Model CCID and say Spectrum. Drum. Let's see if that works. I am not sure if that will work. USA mod US model. Um, S P M A. And the serial number, which I'm not going to show, but I'm going to enter it so I can show you. One, eight, four. And you can see that the device has been added to my inventory. It has been acknowledged. Um, so I've got the Spectrum nickname, manufacturer of Spectrum. Uh, I think that I did it right. The US model um, is the model number, the serial number. Yes, and it's a broadcast, which is mode ID broadcast. I think I did that right. All right, now it's time to install the Spectrum Sky Remote ID. Uh, again, extremely small, easy to set up. They give you plenty of different wires to use. I'm gonna use the one that plugs right into the receiver. So we're gonna do this, use this. This plugs in here, we'll plug it into the plane. So let me get the plane ready to go and we'll install. I will be using, they gave us double-sided tape I will be using some extra Velcro that I have. Reason for that, guys, is um, 
Correct me if I'm wrong, but I you can use this in any plane. So I'm gonna put Velcro in all my planes. So when I'm gonna fly whatever plane, I can switch this out real quick to the plane I'm using. So I'm compliant with the remote ID. If I'm wrong, please in the description and the comment section, please uh, let me know if I'm right or wrong. Thanks. All right, next step. I'm gonna put this in my commander to start. Uh, one of the, my favorite plane that I use all the time. Again, I get the wire. I guess I'm gonna put it in channel five. Um, because that's the that one or the bind, but I'll I'll just do it in the fifth. If it gives me any problems when I test it, then I will go to a different channel. Oh, um, but I'll do five. And I'm gonna place it right here, guys, right next to the battery, out of the way. Actually, I'm gonna place it right here, right here, out of the way. Shouldn't be in, in any way. And there you go. That's as how easy it is to install this. Now, apparently, just to let you guys know, when you're, give you a better idea, show where it looks like, perfectly set up. Just to let you guys know one other thing about this unit is, per the instructions on this is, a slow flash is acquiring GPS signal, wait to fly. Solid is ready to fly in a rapid flash, error do not fly. That's per the instructions. Um, I'm not ready to fly today, but I just wanted to show you guys how to install it and how to link it on the website with the FAA. So I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos. Oh, 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 oh,